Now coming back to the slides. Okay. So in analytics management, uh, we have this report. So report is a powerful tool to analyze Salesforce data, and it's a tool to answer some business questions. And the report uh, report type is used in creating reports. Okay. So what is report type? So in Salesforce, we have two kind of report type. One is standard and another is custom. So report type is basically a template for reports. Okay. So like what kind of fields, what kind of objects will be used in this report or can be used in this report are decided with the help of report type. So report type determines which object and fields can shown into the report. And if we're creating a custom report type, we can choose one primary object and up to three child object into that. Okay. Uh, there are four types of reports available in Salesforce. One is a tabular report. So it's in a simplest uh, type of report, just like a normal Excel sheet. Summary report. So whenever we apply row wise grouping on the tabular report, it's become a summary report and it is most commonly used report as far as my experience. Matrix report. So when we apply row and column grouping both together, then it becomes the matrix report. And the joint report, it allows you to create two or more report in a same display screen to compare data. Okay. Now talk about dashboard. So dashboard helps to show data of more than one report and represent it in a graphical way also 20 components can be added on a dashboard means 20 uh, reports we can add into into a dashboard we can set like which people can view data in the dashboard or view data is in dashboard if people view set as a running user so it is known as a dynamic dashboard so what is mean by dynamic dashboard so the person who is viewing the dashboard the data will reflect as per his data security. Okay. So if I set a dashboard and I create a dashboard and I set a running user as a system admin user, then everybody who is able to see the dashboard, he will see data what a system admin can see. Okay. So if you want to make it dynamic, like the, the person who is seeing the dashboard data should be visible with respect to his or her data, sec data security then uh, we set uh, the people view as a running user. And this is known as a dynamic dashboard. So users can subscribe to dashboards and reports also to get some information automatically in their email. So let's see how we can create reports and uh, dashboards. Okay. So I'm coming to the Salesforce uh, admin, side, uh, admin side. Let me search for report. Okay. So to select the reports, like it's not necessary. We always come into the setup mode uh, here also. Uh, it's visible as a tab and I'll click on the report section, uh, new button. Okay. Let me select like this. I'm starting a report. Okay. So this is a default, uh, like by default view, and it is the like tabular report only. Okay, so I run it, it's able to see it. If I want to make it summary report, okay, then I will add as a like a status. So, okay, if I refresh it or I will enable it, so I am able to see the reports uh, with the status itself. Okay. This is a summary report. And if I want to make it matrix report, like on which date the case was open. Okay. So it becomes the matrix report. Okay. So let me create a one more case. Okay. I'll come here. Let me search for case. Okay. This is a new inquiry. Okay, subject is testing and I'm just saying it. 
okay i just click on the refresh button so you could see uh, this is status and like this is row wise summary and this is column wise summary okay uh, we have few more options like if i want to hide this grand total i can hide it okay uh, i can hide the detail row okay so the, the detail row is also hidden when i open it i could see like uh, total three records are here these are the three records okay uh, let me do one more thing and uh, let me come to the case and, and let me change the status of let me change the status of this case so we'll see like how our reports look like okay so two rows two columns okay so there is no escalated case which was opened on the um, today's date okay this is how we can create the report okay and if i come again on the report okay now let's talk about dashboard so i can click on the new dashboard okay uh give him like a texas i will add a component here so i'll need to choose any okay so the charts i can select okay multiple report type, multiple reports we can add here okay like uh, it was in a service executive reports let me check if i have more so case status by case owner okay so like uh, which user is having uh, more cases right and here is like view dashboard is me so me means like the person who will see uh, see the see the dashboard he will see the data as per my like the person who is creating the dashboard uh, with like with the permission like uh, with the with respect to the data security of the person who is creating dashboard if i set a specific person i can search for a user okay like ansu Ansuza. everybody who is viewing this dashboard will be able to see the data with respect to the data security of ansuja if i select this dashboard viewer then like it will be in a dynamic dashboard okay we have few options of uh, uh, designing the data uh, dashboard also i have saved it okay and i can save it as i want okay so dynamic dashboard cannot be saved into your personal folder okay so what i need to do i need to select a different folder all folder companies dashboard and select folder so i'm able to save it now okay if i want to share this dashboard with other user then i need to save the folder itself okay now let's talk about the report type also so click on the setup so let's suppose i want to create a report on employee and employee skills okay so what i will do i'll i'll click on the report type okay i'll click on the continue okay i'm selecting employee as a primary object there are two employees so i'll need to check like uh, which one is uh, our custom I will store it in the employees category. It's in a deployment stage. Let's click on the next button now. I already have click on click here, and it has employee skills. Okay, so you you must have seen like uh, some report types in which you have noticed the with or without uh, keyword like account with contact account without contacts 
so how it is decided so there is a relationship option is available so uh, a denotes the employees and b denotes to employee skill so if you choose this first okay so each a record like each parent must have at least one child record okay it means uh, it will it will show only if an uh, employee has employee skills okay and if we choose the second option then uh, like it will not it will show the records either we have child record or not okay i'm clicking on the next button okay uh you could see there is a layout also so edit layout here we can choose the fields okay so currently all fields are uh, visible if i want to remove the one field okay let me Sorry, let me edit it. Okay, so okay, I was able to drag it here. Now let me save it. Now let's go and create a report. I click on the new report. I'll select the report type employee. This one, this is custom. Okay. Like it's all time. And some filters like all employees. Okay. And I'm running it. Okay. If I talk about adding more fields, then like email, I can like employee ID, I can edit, but you could see the phone option will not be visible because I have removed it from report type. Okay. That's the reason. Uh, that's how we can control the fields from the report type. Okay. So let me do one more thing. Let me create an employee also. It's all right. Okay. And let's run it. So we are not able to see amid data here. But if I add a, a skill towards Amit, let's see what happens. Because we choose the option of at least like the parent at least have a one child record. Okay. Coming back to slides, 